This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe. But let's get right into the news. All right. So we got T.I. releasing some mystery paperwork. Doesn't even have his real name on it. Doesn't say Clifford Harris. It's very weird. Expla explanations are needed. He should have posted this with explanations. Is this even really his paperwork? Did he not? Did he post the wrong? He didn't actually post this paperwork. He posted. He posted. Some ruffled papers. Okay. He posted some ruffled papers. I don't know about this. This is spooky. We're going to have to get more into this in a minute. But his birthday doesn't match. Nothing matches as close to his birthday. It's weird. And this is going to get picked apart. He opened himself up for this to be picked apart over the next few days. And trust me, by, by the weekend, he's going to be getting pressure. Okay, uh, Boosie. Is Boosie going to be able to forgive him is the question. We'll get more into this later on tonight. Uh, Little Wayne question uh, has some words for Billboard and Vibe Magazine with their lists and everything, you know, and where he's placed. Then we got OMB Peasy. He doesn't. He doesn't. Uh, he doesn't fold. Okay. Um, there's a, a video of him. There's OMB Peasy, right? There's so there's. There's so many of these rappers now. Let me just make sure. I'm sure this is, I'm pretty sure this is him. We'll get more into that later too, because uh, I want to break that down. But uh, he was being questioned and didn't fold. Um, damn, I wanted to pull up his actual thing, because there's actual video to it too. But, uh, also, before we get into that more, uh, we got Gunna reportedly going to leave YSL Music. We already knew that was going to happen. We kind of called that. We talked about it. Is he going to stay on YSL Music? Probably not. Because he's a snitch now. And then, you know, it's, it's just a conflict of interest for him. You know, it's like, eh. You know, it's, it's, it might not work out. He's going to go straight, straight to Atlantic. And probably not be on YSL anymore. There's just too much going on. We'll see. Yeah, that was OMBP. He refused to speak when interviewed by police. Anyways, uh, Gunna's going to go directly with Atlantic. Boom. Okay, so there's going to be a bunch of people reacting to that. We'll get more into that later. Um, Master P responds to Fat Trell. He says, I've only given people around me opportunities. I've never forced any artists to make music or in the studio. It's sad they're always against us, but I'm always going to keep educating the ones so they can learn and grow. And to everyone I've crossed paths with, I wish, wish them much success. He goes on to say, um, we were way ahead of our time. It was 2013, LV Mob, Alley Boy, a real G, though, and I respect him to the end. We didn't uh, pop back then because we didn't have a hit record. We only had street records, and that didn't cross over. I invested in this project. I'm surprised Olive Boy didn't pop because he had that 4-4 song that was really big before that. Um, I invested in this project, lost on it, still haven't been able to make money from the streaming. That's one of the reasons why I got out of the music industry and into the product game. Product doesn't talk back. Ooh, it's kind of spicy talk right there. I love Jess Hilarious, but I know she's just cracking jokes because she signed her contract and got paid what she was owed for I Got the Hook Up too. But if she's trying to squeeze me for another 10K, she got that. One thing about the truth, it can't be changed. It will always come to the light. What they mean or harm, God will use for good. I'm going to keep that right right thing. Da, 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 da. Bigger things coming. Live mixtapes 2013, which you can download for free today. He's talking about Fat Trail. It didn't sell because you could get it for free from live mixtapes. I covered the entire production cost, pay for flights, apartment rental cars, and all that stuff that got tra trashed and damaged. I'm the only one that made a financial investment in the project and took a loss. I have receipts to prove it. Everyone around us around that time knows the truth. Since then, he signed with Rick Ross and then went to prison. That was over 10 years ago. Uh, for the cowards behind the computers enforcing fake news, I do have just hilarious contract from five years ago. I believe Master P's telling the truth on all this stuff. He can't really say that anyone... Everyone's just reporting what these people say. It's no direct... Um, 
stuff at Master P, you know? I think Master P just tries to help a lot of people. He's hoping to make it big with certain artists like he did back in the day, and sometimes it doesn't work out. It's okay. But they, they should stop talking smack about him and, like, thank him for the opportunity as well. Because he tried. Anyways, this is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button. I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.